in this video let me realize the boolean expression and logic circuit for the given logic here the logic is a switching circuit has two control inputs c1 and c2 two data inputs x1 and x2 and one of output z the circuit performs one of the logic functions such as or xor and equating for control input combinations c1 and c2 as 00 0 1 1 0 1 1 respectively derive the truth table for z use k map to find minimum and or get circuit to realize z so in this logic c1 and c2 are control inputs that is c1 and c2 are control inputs or control signals similarly x1 and x2 are inputs or data inputs x1 and x2 are data inputs z is output now for the given data first let me write the function table that function table gives the summary of this logic let me write the function table function table is shown below so this is the function table here we can see that when c1 is 0 c2 is 0 that is for combination 0 0 it should perform oring operation that is when c1 is 0 c2 is 0 function to be performed is logical or operation similarly when c1 is 1 when c1 is 0 c2 is 1 it should perform xor operation that is when c1 is 0 c2 is 1 should perform logic xor operation similarly when c1 is 1 and c2 is 0 it should perform logical ending operation and operation and when both are 1 1 it should perform equate operation that is equal operation that is 1 1 eqa so here we can see that c1 c2 x1 and x2 are inputs itself though c1 and c2 are control inputs x1 and x2 are data inputs these four are inputs where z is output now we'll try to write the truth table that is for the first sub question that is derive the truth table for z let so now with the help of function table i will write the truth table that is derive the truth table for z so uh, let this is the truth table where c1 c2 x1 x2 are inputs and z is output so here we have four inputs with the help of four that is two power four is 16 so 16 different possible input combinations we can get let me write all possible inputs that is uh, 0 0 0 0 which is equivalent to decimal 0 0 0 0 1 we have 0 0 1 0 that is 2 next is 3 that is 0 0 1 1 next is 4 that is 0 1 0 0 5 that is 0 1 0 1 6 that is 0 1 1 0 7 8 is 1 0 0 0 9 is 1 0 0 1 10 is 1 0 1 0 11 is 1 0 1 1 12 is 1 1 0 0 13 is 1 1 0 1 14 is 1 1 1 0 15 is 1 1 1 1 now using function table let me write z values when c1 is 0 and c2 is 0 it perform oring operation so here we can see that here we have 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so from here to here it should perform or operation then when c1 is 0 c2 is 1 it should perform xor operation so till here from here to here it is xor operation so next we have when c1 is 1 and c2 is 0 it should perform logical and operation so here we have 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 so till here it is and operation and remaining is equate operation now we'll see when c1 is 0 and c2 is 0 
we should perform or operation on the inputs. Inputs are x1 is 0, x2 is 0. x1 or x2 is nothing but 0. Similarly, here also we should perform or operation. 0 or 1 is nothing but 1. That is nothing but logical add operation. 1, 0 is 1. 1, 1 is 1. That is 1 or with 1 is 1. Similarly, here x or that is 0, 0 is 0 in x or gate the output is high only when any one of the input is 1. So here one of the input is 1. So it is 1. 1 0 is 1. 1 1 is 0. And operation is nothing but like multiplication operation. 0 into 0 is 0. 0 into 1 is 0. 1 into 0 is 0. 1 into 1 is 1. Equal operation. That is when x1 is equal to x2 then output is 1. Here x1 is equal to x2 that is 0, 0. So output is 1. Here x1 and x2 are different. So it is 0. Here also it is different. 0. When both are same it is 1. So now we got the output values. Now with the help of kmap we can easily derive the boolean expression. So here we have 16 different states. So we need 4 variable kmap. Let me draw the four variable kmap. So this is four variable kmap. Let this be c1, c2 and this is x1, x2. So here we can see that this is 0, 0, 0, 0 is equivalent to decimal 0. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now let me write the values in kmap. So here at 0 cell value is 0. At 1 value is 1. At 2 value is 1. At 3 it is 1. At 4 it is 0. At 5 it is 1. At 6 it is 1. At 7 it is 0. Now at 8 it is 0. At 9 it is 0. At 10 it is 0 and at 11 it is 1. At 12 it is 1. At 13 0. At 14 0. At 15 1. So now here we can see that use kmap to find minimum and or gate. So minimum and or gate means and or gate implementation is done with respect to SOP. That is sum of products. So sum of products can be obtained by the min terms. So here we suppose to derive the min term expression. So min term expression will be obtaining by making the group of ones. Now we will try to make the group of ones. So here uh, it is not possible to do 16 grouping, it is not possible to do 8 grouping, even it is not possible to do quad that is 4 grouping. Here we can do one pair between cell number 2 and 3, this is one combination. So here the value of this is here in with respect to these two column. 1 is common with respect to that is with respect to x1 I can write x1 with respect to row it is c1 and c2 that is 0 0 means c1 bar c2 bar so now here we have one this one can be combined with this one to make a pair I can do the pair here with this I can perform on pair here the value is here it is x1 x2 bar x1 x2 bar and with respect to these two column common is c1 that is c1 bar c1 bar next we can do the grouping of these two ones the value of this will be i can write here 
so in between rows 1 and 2 the common is 0 0 is with respect to c1 that is c1 bar and column is x1 bar x2 x1 bar x2 then here we can do the pair the value of this will be here it is between these two row common is 1 that is c1 and with respect to column it is x1 x2 here we have one more one it has to be considered as independent so the corresponding value is with respect to row it is 1 1 that is c1 c2 column is x1 bar x2 bar so now we can write the boolean expression that is z is equal to we have x1 c1 bar c2 x1 c1 bar c2 plus we have x1 x2 bar c1 bar x1 x2 bar c1 bar plus we have c1 x1 x2 c1 x1 x2 plus we have c1 c2 x1 bar x2 c1 c2 x1 bar x2 bar plus we have c1 bar x1 bar x2 c1 bar x1 bar x2 plus this logic circuit i can easily implement and or logic circuit let me implement it so let me take three input and get So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 AND gates. For the first AND gate, the literals are x1, c1 bar c2. Let this is x1. We have C1 bar that is C1 passed through inverter. The output is C1 bar and we have C2. Next we have X1. Here we have X1. X2 bar that is I have X2 pass through inverter that is X2 bar. Next input is C1 bar. C1 bar is here. I can derive from here. Next we have C1, X1, X2. c1 x1 x2 then i'll take four input and get the inputs are c1 c2 x1 bar and we have x2 bar then we have again three input and get that is c1 c1 bar we have x1 pass through inverter x1 bar and we have another input is x2 the output of all and gates is connected to or gate so this is nothing but and or logic the output of this is connected to or gate So output of this is Z. So this is the logic diagram for the for the this Boolean expression. Thank you for watching.